God sent me to speak to someone because I will be sharing with you hopefully in the last service. I'm not a prophet of doom. And I, 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 as I respect God and I respect myself and I respect your trust for me. So if I stand here and I tell you things, especially I'm prophesying, I make sure that I know what I'm saying. I saw something about next year that will make you need this message. Because what I saw is going to be a time of turbulence and serious challenge for believers. I'm not a prophet of doom. My teaching grace is enough for me like that. I mustn't prophesy. But if I open my mouth and I tell you something, you just believe it. So don't ignore when you see God bring things like this. He's redeeming the future. There is something he has seen. You see that now. I saw many, many, many people folding their companies and people, both father and mother, losing jobs at the prime, not even knowing what to do. PTA meetings happening and teachers are saying, you cannot drive our children. Why don't you structure the payment? When I saw that thing, my heart, I said, God, what is the meaning of this? When God shows things like this, it's not to put fear, but he's showing it so that believers can be prepared. Now you have something on ground. God has shown you mercy. I wish I had the time I would have taught you on financial carelessness. There are people who are going to spend everything God gave them this December and then suffer by January. Hear this servant of God, don't. There is nowhere written in the Bible that if you don't eat cow and chicken, you will not commemorate the birth of Jesus. Live a modest and a decent life within your means. Are we together now? Remember the dream of Joseph. Seven years of plenty. Seven, if you have the money, fine. You, God bless you. But for many of us, who, especially those that the year has been rough, there is a mindset people have that once it is Christmas, burn everything you have, finish all the money, live a fake and a false life, carry your family and go around the world and then return back and suffer. That's not a wise bargain. For someone, God is helping you to now begin to be frugal. Another thing I would have thought about is, is living a fake life. One of the major reasons, a fake life is very expensive. Write it down. A fake life is very expensive. It takes so much to fund a fake life. And once you start, you must maintain it. A fake life is very expensive. If you are not there, you are not there. You can start gradually with the dignity of kingdom integrity. A fake life is expensive. Don't try to buy a car that is not yet your level. Don't try to go and live in a house that is not yet your level. You are living in a house that you are owing three years rent now. You can't pay back. It's a sign you are not yet there. Get out of that place and look for a decent place. Hallelujah. There are some of us who do not yet have the means to start gathering people and celebrating elaborate birthdays, elaborate occasions. No, be patient. God is bringing you there. Even for schools, as much as I would want you to educate your children at the highest level, you must be wise and keep them within your budget. Find the best school that your budget can afford. If your child is on scholarship, that is fine. Otherwise, find the budget, the school that your budget can afford. But by all means, Koinonia, please hear me. Great disaster is going to befall many. And there are many who will begin to tour the corridors of compromise because of this finance thing. I shall not want, it's not just a prophetic declaration. It is a declaration that comes with responsibilities. And the responsibility is learn all you can. Now that God has given you a good job, don't waste your salary that is coming. Learn all you can about investments. Are we together now? meet intelligent people with integrity who know what they are saying not people playing games all around playing games all around the internet deceiving and fooling people don't fall prey to some of these things seek counsel there are five kinds of investment you must make in your life number one is your spiritual investment number two investment in your mind let me give you this and then we'll wrap up five kinds of investment Number one, your spiritual investment. When I talk of investments, I'm not just talking of putting money. Your relationship with Jesus is a potent investment that has returns, even financial returns. Number two, mental investments. 
what you store in your mind is there you don't need to refrigerate it you don't need to warm it it is there and will always be ready to be delivered when needed number three invest in your health and your well-being it's an investment invest in your health and your well-being it's often said that people deteriorate their health to make money then they use the money they have made to now maintain their health that is now deteriorated don't be like that invest in your health and your wellness number four invest in strategic relationships relationships are an investment they bring returns mighty marvelous returns they bring returns i shared a story in ghana that i want to share as i wrap up a wealthy man had a son he had a son and this son lived a very careless and a riotous life and the man got sad and said i will never give you anything of my estate and he called the servant and he told the servant you have been a well-behaved person i give you the liberty to choose anything you want to choose and the servant chose the estates chose the cars chose some of the businesses and chose everything and while he was choosing the man was touched with compassion and then he said are you done choosing the servant said yes then he looked at his son he said for mercy's sake i will allow you to choose only one thing and get out of my way and the son said i choose the servant did you get the story i choose what a wise boy i choose the servant means that i chose the car the servant chose i chose the house that belongs to the servant everything why am i saying this there are certain things when you find you have found other things too relationships there are certain things when you find you have found all other things there are things that you truly may not need to bother about again when you get the majors in life because the majors control the minors for instance your relationship with jesus for instance your relationship with men for instance the power of the holy ghost now we're going to pray that song power to prosper we're going to sing it once twice and then i will pray for you that the hand of god will rest upon your head the hand of god will rest upon your hand the hand of god will rest upon your feet rise upon your feet coin on you rise upon your feet don't be distracted sing it once twice go ahead let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me. point tonight and I speak over your life father in light of all that I've heard cause me to walk in these truths and then let your power to prosper truly come upon me go ahead and pray go ahead and pray remember I told you that financial prosperity is a composite of many factors laws and principles human relational factors supernatural empowerment then the God factor. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Sacre que paracos aprende que belleza tu siata. 
Someone pray. Father, visit me. Visit my family. The law of absolute surrender. Tithes, offerings. And all kinds of givings. The law of value. The law of productivity. The law of excellence. The law of relationships. Understanding investments. These are some of the keys. Then the power to prosper. The divine enablement that comes upon your mind. Empowering your thinking. Empowering ideas. Empowering creativity, witty inventions. The anointing coming upon your hand. Causing the works of your hands to be blessed. Extraordinary excellence and productivity. The anointing coming upon your feet. Bringing you direction. Bringing you guidance. And Isaac sowed in that land. That land. That land. That land. Thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying. This is the way. Walk ye in it. You will find rest for your soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hopefully in another meeting when we have the time, I will share with you a bit of the God factor in the finances of men. In every man's destiny, a day will come when you will experience something along the lines of your finances that only God can bring. It can happen once only in your lifetime. Just once. Just once. If you are not positioned to discern, there are people today, their rising is absolutely the God factor. God came, they discerned, they maximized the moment, and they stepped into a very supernatural dimension. I want to speak over your life. Beyond doing business, God can help men. The prophetic can help people prosper. I want you to believe it. As I speak over your life, you will be surprised to see what has. Let me tell you the truth. I am a man that God has helped. I know what it means to be helped by God. And I want somebody to experience that dimension of grace. Father, in the name of Jesus, you place this in my heart to teach your people to help them to know that lack and want is a curse and that it can come out of the believers life whilst he's serving the Lord with the dignity of integrity passionately loving and serving Jesus I stretch my hands over those who are here on site the many who are following online in the name of Jesus the God factor that is responsible for lifting men I pray for you from the depth of my heart. See the hand of God in your finances. I pray for you. See the marvelous hand of God in your finances. May God put it in the heart of men, even strangers, to locate you and bless you so mightily. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you you are in business and the difficulty is connecting to those who need what you carry by prophecy this moment I connect you in the name of Jesus you are in this place and you are trusting God for a job it looks like doors have not been opened for you you've not even started because the way to begin to schedule a reward system is not there I'm praying for you May this year not end without you receiving your letter. I'm praying for anyone here who is in debt. You borrowed money, you are in trouble. Your family is in trouble. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, between now and December 31st, come out of that financial situation. I pray for someone. You made careless financial decisions. You lost your money. Maybe you put it somewhere, it disappeared. Someone ran away with your money or some stories. I'm praying for you. In the name of Jesus, may God the restorer restore you. 
May God the restorer restore you. May God the restorer restore you. May God the restorer restore you. For those who are not tithing, those who are not giving, that spiritual root is not there. The giving grace, I release it upon you right now. I call your destiny helpers. I don't know where they are. But in the name of Jesus, you will not have to look for them by yourself. God will bring them to you. I say it again, you will not have to look for them by yourself. My God will bring them to you. May this be true for ministries. May this be true for churches. May this be true for families. May this be true for individuals. Some wealthy person who is looking for someone to bless. May God put your name in their heart. And I want to pray for those who are already established. God is helping you. You have businesses. You have investments. You have structures here and there that meet needs. I'm praying for you. You will not fail in business. I'm praying for you. You will not lose your job. God will only take you higher and higher. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to shout, I shall not want three times. Just obey prophetic instructions. I'm going to count one, two, three. And you will shout, I shall not want, I shall not want, I shall not want. It's a prophetic word. You are declaring to the realm of the spirit. The Bible says, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. From the simplicity of this instruction, you will be surprised at the testimonies that will return. Are you ready now? One, two, three. I shall not want. Number two. Number three. As you have declared it in the name of Jesus, may my God make it happen in your life. May my God make it happen in your life. May my God make it happen in your life. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Hallelujah. One is a very big one. Pray in the spirit in one minute. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and verse 2. Please pray in the spirit in one minute. Shabalus kaprandege beleko safraski 